Hey guys, welcome back to Jaden Small Lunch Repair. I'm Jaden, and in this video, we're going to be putting an hour meter on this Toro 1995 Super Sync. So, it has a six horsepower older Briggs engine. This was actually the first Briggs they ever made. So, it's not that going to be that hard to do. I'll bring it a little closer and I'll show you how I'm going to do this. Alright, let's see here. So, it has a six horsepower engine. We're a little closer now. So it has a six horsepower engine and a six, and that's it. All right, so I got this off Amazon and a pack of two. It's just a hour meter for a engine. This is the cheaper model. I, I bought a bunch of the more expensive models too. Comes with some zip ties and all that, but it's just, it's just an hour meter, some screws to put it in, and then the zip ties and the cord. So you don't want to get. Opener rage, opening this. Be careful you don't lose the two screws. They are taped in, just in case. So we get our hour meter. We get our cord and two small zip ties. And two small zip ties and a cord. And then the two screws. That came with it right there. So you are gonna have to drill a hole. They are, they are not self-tapping screws, but you are gonna have to drill a hole. So first, what we're gonna do is we we gotta take off this top cover of the engine. So then, if we take off the top cover of the engine, then we will be able to uh, we will be able to because that's how we're gonna run it. We're gonna run the line up through the top cover down the side of it so hopefully it goes well I'm just hoping it goes well yeah hopefully it doesn't go bad and something bad happens and then shouldn't happen but it's a really easy process shouldn't have any serious issues but let's get to it guys so first what you're going to need to do is you're going to need to get a 10 millimeter socket And I'm going to be using my Bauer drill, but you don't have to use a power tool, but I would say use a power tool. I'm just doing this so it's easier for filming purposes. You're just going to take off this top cover. There's a few bolts, so take these right out. There's two up on the front. Take out those. Go. Take off the one on the side. There's one on each side. Connect to the, uh, the whole gas tank and all that, so it should come right off. Depending on what year your lawnmower is, should just lift right off. You can see mine's just lifts right off like that. The gas tank's not attached. So let's start off, you're going to put back on your gas tank, your gas cap. That's your gas tank, it's pretty big. Well, you have your huge, heavy-duty top cover here. So what we're going to do is, the hour meter is going to go right here, on the side of the top cover. And you have to wrap it around the spark plug boot, so I'm going to wrap it around, I'm going to run it up through here, or from the flywheel and everything, then run it down. And then, the hour meter is going to go right there. So, let's do this, guys. Alright, so first, we're going to want to unfold our hour meter. Take off the cord. Also, guys, if you guys have any suggestions on any videos that you want me to make, please leave it down below. I've gotten a few, like this guy. Call me, I'll shout, shout out to you. Uh, he wanted me to make a video on me um, starting up all my engines and lawnmowers and all that. So, it's coming soon. I just haven't gotten to it. I'm working on a lot of those videos right now. I'm just haven't gotten to making that. I'm making all the videos right before winter, working on snowblower season and all that. So, I will get to it. Just don't worry. You'll be getting your video soon. Just keep watching and you'll see it's on my YouTube channel soon. Oh, 
Well, yeah, guys, if you haven't yet, please subscribe. That'll help out my channel a lot right now. We're just right now, we're in that part of that channel where that's trying to gain some staying subscribers, and then we can build the channel and I can get more stuff opened up for you guys. But, yeah, if you're new to my channel, I'm Jaden. As I said in the beginning of the video, uh, this is Jaden Small Engine Repair. I fix small engines on YouTube, help people that don't know what they're doing. But, yeah. It's, I do a really good job, and I am really good at it. Uh, so we're going to take our hour meter. There's two holes on the side of your hour meter. And you're going to take that, and you're just going to poke a pencil. Yep. So yeah, I told you guys in the beginning of the video, I have those videos come up for you. If you if you're not on my channel yet, I'll leave a link and you can go to them. But yeah, that's basically all I have to tell you now. Let's get into the video. Alright, so we're just going to take your hour meter. I got my cover here. I'm just going to take my hour meter, set it on there. Stick the pencil in. And leave some dots on the hour meter where I need to drill the holes. Here we go. See, there's two holes, two lines right there, where I'm going to put it. So now, we're going to make a little dot like right next to it, down the hole. So then, that's where we're going to put a little hole to stick the, uh, where we're going to stick the, the line through that goes to the spark plug. You didn't know that's what it hooks up to. All right, let's drill these. Oops, just kind of slipped. Hi right, guys, we're back. I retightened the drill bit.
All right, got them all drilled. So now you're going to take your hour meter. And you're going to take your two screws and push them in these holes right here on the hour meter. Get you a Phillips screwdriver that can fit in these little grooves. Then you can turn the screw and turn the screw into the hole on the mower. I'm going to do that to one side. Now I'm going to skip this and do the other side. Alright guys, so I got it all screwed in. You can see the screws came through. It's all screwed in. Then I drilled a hole and stuck the line through it. So now next, you're going to take your cover. You're going to take your dang cover. And you're going to get you some electrical tape or basically any tape you have that's good. Tear off about th two or three inches of tape. You're going to run this as close as you can to the top of your uh, recoil. Then you're going to tape it down. You're just going to take it and just, just tape it all the way up to, to where it, you, it comes out. Alrighty, I got that all taped in. Right, guys, I, as you can see, I got it all taped in all the way down to the middle gonna come out. So let me move you to the front of the and I'll show you what I mean. Alright, so I got my top cover here. So I'm gonna take the top cover and I'm just gonna set it right up here out of the way. You're gonna pull off your spark plug boot. Just pull it right off the spark plug. And they say you gotta wrap it around your spark plug line six times. So let's get started. Alright, so we're gonna do it. We're just gonna give it a little slack. So that'll be one, one wrap, two wraps, three wraps, four wraps, five wraps, six wraps, seven wraps, eight wraps, back out two wraps. Now you're just going to pull it tight, the two pieces that you haven't used, it comes with a zip tie, you're going to take your zip tie that it comes with, put it right here, and you're going to zip tie these two to get, you're going to bring the zip tie down to the very base of both of them. Go. You're going to bring the zip tie down to the very base of both of them and just pull it tight. Pull, 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 pull it tight. There we go. Pull them tight. There we go, nice and tight. Now you're going to take this and you're just going to stick the zip tie up in there just to stay there out of the way. Now you're going to wrap up all your access stuff that you had. You want it to have a little bit of extra slack. So I'm just going to take all mine and I'm just going to put on my spark plug boot. Slide it up. There we go.
a pull. Now you're just going to set your top cover back on, your lawnmower, and then grab your socket again with your dang 10 millimeter socket and just put in all, re put in all those bolts that you took out at the beginning. You don't tighten them down too much. Now we got one more. Tighten down your gas cap and we gotta go run it for a few minutes and she should be good to go, guys. Hey guys, we gotta run it for so 10 minutes means 0.1 hour. So let's just run it for 10 minutes to get it going. Thing. I want to change the air filter on this thing. So it's going to be putting a air meter on a Taurus Super Cycler and tune up. So we change the air filter. So guys, I just changed the air filter. Same exact one. Now I'm going to put this cover back on. Here we go. Alright, guys, that was putting a hour meter on a Taurus Super Cycler and tune up. Bye, guys. Have a good day. Please subscribe.